Hey guys, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to show you how you can stone your skating gear, whether it be your skates or your dresses or whatever other fun things that you want to add sparkles to. So the skates that I'm using today are an old pair of ice flies just for demonstration purposes. My personal skates I've stoned myself and I designed the pattern and everything and I think they look really good. So I'm just going to show you those now. So my skates are Adia Pianos. The piano is pretty special because it has all these neat cutouts in the boot where you can put stones easily and effectively because they won't fall off. Because if you were to put it just on this boot part, which a lot of Adia boots are, they're just this boot part without the cutouts. Like the chorus and the overture, they don't have cutouts, so it's harder to put stones on those. But if you have the ice fly or piano boot, then you'll be able to put stones on them. So the pattern I did was a Minnie Mouse pattern. And then I did just normal sparkles on all the cutouts. So you can see that. And then I did gold around the heel. And I had put stones on this side since there are cutouts on both sides, but I learned that when I did lunges and just fell on stuff and my the side of my boot would hit the ice and it would scrape and it would take stones off as I did that. So I decided to take the stones off of that side. But yeah, that's my skates. Let's get into putting a pattern on my ice flies. The items I'm using to glue rhinestones on my skates today are Swarovski rhinestones. So I have a bunch of different colors of these. I haven't decided which color I'm going to do quite yet. And then you're probably going to need a safety pin or a bobby pin just so that you can grab glue and then stick the stone on. The glue that I use is called E6000 and it's the clear version because they also have the black kind which if you don't put the stone on just perfect you can see black underneath the stone uh, which is not that pretty so we're gonna use the clear one the boots in question are these old ice flies that I've had for a few years sitting in my garage these cutouts are gonna be perfect for putting new rhinestones on and making them look a little bit newer also I did just want to mention that with the e6000 glue the safety pin and the rhinestones you're capable of stoning many 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 things not just your skates I've stone phone cases costumes notebooks, anything that you want to stone, you can stone with those items. So I'm going to link in the description a store that you can get those items yourself. Okay, now let's actually go do it. <laughs> When you're ready, pick up your bobby pin and dip it into the pile of glue. Make sure that it's just enough so that it'll cover the back of the stone. When you're ready, hold it up to the place on your skate or item that you want it to be. Hold it on there, use your other finger to hold it down while you slide your bobby pin out from under it. Repeat these steps until you've done all of your desired stones or until your glue runs dry or it just gets hard and you can't use it anymore and then get some fresh glue and get going again. Be careful not to get glue on your finger that you're holding the stone down with because if it gets on the top of the stone, it will cause it to be less shiny. So this is the final product I did around the heel with the same sparkles that I did the rest of the boot with. I left the original stones on the side just because I'm not going to be skating in these and I have no real reason to be doing this other than to show you guys so I didn't want to waste too many stones or too much time. I did get to use one big sparkle which I absolutely loved and then a bunch of just like little ones and then some medium sized ones. This actually has three different stones in it. There are three different sizes and colors. I think they all go together pretty well. I hope this taught you how to stone your own items if that's what you're looking at this for and if not I hope you enjoyed the video. Anyways that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below and I will see you next time. Bye.